We've sent people to the moon, split the atom, even photographed a black hole. We think we know a lot, but here's the cosmic joke. 95% of the universe is invisible and unexplained. Our two greatest theories, relativity and quantum mechanics, literally break down when we try to use them together. And some of the most basic questions, like why time moves forward, or why there's something instead of nothing, still have no satisfying answer. I made a couple of videos on what the answers could be, the links are in the description. But these ideas are largely speculative. And these aren't just trivial questions either. They're the keys to reality. Solving even one of them could rewrite our future, new technologies, new ways to think about existence, maybe even a new understanding of what universe means. So today we're diving into 10 of the biggest mysteries of the cosmos, what we don't know, why we know it's a real mystery, and what scientists are doing to find an answer. And that's coming up right now. What better place to start than arguably the biggest mystery? Our two greatest theories, general relativity and quantum mechanics, describe different worlds. Relativity describes behavior of large-scale objects like planets, stars, and space-time. Quantum mechanics accurately describes phenomena at the smallest scales. Each works extremely well in its own domain. But if you try to use both at once, say to describe something that's very tiny but with immense gravity, such as the singularity inside a black hole, or the very first moments of the Big Bang, the equations break down into nonsense. We get infinities. We lack a quantum theory of gravity that can unite the certainty of relativity with the probabilistic nature of quantum mechanics. Developing this is often called finding a theory of everything. Until we have it, we don't truly know what happens in the most extreme situations. That's a huge problem but also an open frontier. And it's arguably the biggest puzzle in fundamental physics. Theorists are working on potential candidates like string theory and loop quantum gravity, and observatories like the Event Horizon Telescope and LIGO are watching black holes and gravitational waves for tiny cracks in Einstein's theory that could point the way forward with new breakthroughs. Here's another long-standing mystery. All the stuff I talk about, atoms, forces, light, planets, people, accounts for only about 5% of the universe's content. The rest is mysterious. About 27% of the universe is dark matter, and 68% is dark energy. These quote-unquote dark components carry misleading names. They're not just dark as in unlit. They are essentially invisible and detected only through their effects. We call it dark matter because it doesn't emit, reflect, or absorb light, yet it has mass and gravity. We infer it's out there because galaxies rotate faster than they should if only visible matter existed. And galaxy clusters have extra gravity bending light around them. The numbers say dark matter is about five times more abundant than regular matter. But what is it? We don't know. It could be some new type of subatomic particle that hardly interacts with normal matter, sometimes fancifully called WIMPs or weakly interacting massive particles. It's a big mystery, basically an entire invisible world of matter right under our noses, or rather surrounding our galaxies that we have yet to identify. Scientists have built deep underground detectors filled with liquid xenon and are waiting for faint bumps from dark matter particles but so far, nothing significant has been found. Sky surveys like Euclid and the Vera Rubin Observatory are mapping how galaxies clump to trace where dark matter hides. But dark matter is only part of the invisible puzzle. There's one even bigger mystery. You probably know that most cosmic mysteries are described and ultimately solved using the language of mathematics. This is a subject that our sponsor Brilliant can help you master. I love the Brilliant app because it's interactive, which makes it extremely effective. One of my favorite learning paths is called mind-bending math. It starts off by having you solve daily puzzles, one a day for 100 days. It's a gentle way to sharpen your thinking processes before diving deep into advanced concepts like infinity, number theory, and Bayesian probability. So when you do start learning those concepts in later courses, they become almost second nature. This, I think, is a great way to not only retain the information, 
but more importantly, to retain the logic and approach to solving any kind of problem, even in your daily life. And just imagine, you can access this incredible learning app anytime at home or on the go. To learn for free on Brilliant, go to brilliant.org slash arvinash, scan the QR code on screen, or click on the link in the description. Brilliant is also offering Arvin Ash viewers 20% off an annual premium subscription, which gives you unlimited daily access to everything on Brilliant. You should give it a try. Now back to the video. As I said, dark matter is only part of the invisible puzzle. The bigger mystery is what's pushing the universe apart. This is even stranger. In the late 1990s, astronomers discovered that the expansion of the universe is speeding up over time. Galaxies are flying away from each other faster and faster. This was the opposite of what everyone expected. Gravity from matter should slow expansion. To explain this acceleration, we introduced dark energy, a kind of unseen influence that pushes space apart. Current data suggest dark energy makes up about two thirds of the cosmos, 68%. We know it's there because we see its effects on cosmic expansion, but we have almost no clue what it actually is. It might be a property of space itself, Einstein's cosmological constant, essentially energy woven into the fabric of space that has a repulsive gravity effect, or it could be something dynamic, like a new field, sometimes called quintessence. Either way, why the expansion is accelerating is unknown. This is a huge puzzle because it ties into the fate of the universe. Dark energy is a term that basically means we have no idea, but something's making space expand faster. It's humbling because most of the energy in the universe is in this dark form, 95%, including dark matter and dark energy. And we can't explain it. But scientists are trying to figure it out. Projects like DESI and Euclid measure how galaxies spread across cosmic history to learn whether dark energy is constant, like Einstein's cosmological constant, or something dynamic, like a new energy field. Dark energy shapes the future of the universe. But another mystery decided why we exist at all. Why is there something rather than nothing? According to our best understanding, the Big Bang should have created matter and antimatter in equal amounts. But when matter and antimatter meet, they annihilate each other. So why didn't the universe just annihilate itself in a flash of energy? Clearly, more matter was left over, since we and everything we see are made up of matter. Where did the antimatter go? This is known as the matter-antimatter asymmetry problem. There must be some slight difference in the laws of physics that gave matter a tiny edge over antimatter in the early universe. Some kind of symmetry violation, perhaps through interactions of exotic particles. We have some hints, but not a full answer yet. It's an unsolved problem. Why the cosmos has the composition it does. I recently made a video about that up here. That tiny excess of matter makes up you, me, and everything else that we can see in the universe. Scientists are conducting experiments like the LHCB at CERN and the Dune Neutrino Project to look for tiny asymmetries in particle behavior, hoping to catch the exact way matter got its advantage. To solve this mystery, we might need to peek back to the very first moments of the universe. And in fact, right after the Big Bang, scientists think the universe went through a brief but super fast expansion called cosmic inflation. This theory explains why the universe looks so smooth and uniform on large scales today. But what drove it? Why did it happen? And why did it stop? These questions are still wide open and scientists keep looking for solid proof. What's being done about this mystery? Well, scientists are using telescopes like the Bicep Keck to scan the cosmic microwave background for subtle polarization patterns, B modes, that inflation would have left behind. Inflation may explain how the universe began, but to know its limits, we need to stare into its darkest places. This brings us to black holes and information. Black holes trap everything, even light. Relativity says that matter falls into a singularity at its center, which is an infinitesimally small object containing all the mass of the black hole. Everything supposedly gets destroyed there. Quantum mechanics says information can't be destroyed. When black holes evaporate through Hawking radiation, which is a slow dribble of mainly photons and neutrinos, what happens to the information 
that the black hole contained? This is the information paradox. We don't have a clear answer. Scientists are using the Event Horizon Telescope, which images black hole shadows, while LIGO listens to black hole mergers. Meanwhile, quantum physicists are also building toy black holes in labs using entangled atoms to test whether information leaks out somehow. If they find it does, then that could tell us that information really is not destroyed, but leaks. Black holes reveal cracks in the standard model, but the cracks are showing up elsewhere too. The standard model predicts dozens of particles and three forces, and it's passed nearly every test that it's been subjected to. But it leaves out gravity, dark matter, and neutrino masses. The standard model does not explain these, and so scientists are desperately trying to find how they fit in the model. Some experiments even hint at anomalies in the model, perhaps a possible fifth force. What are scientists doing to study this? Well, the Large Hadron Collider plays a big role. The physicists are looking for unexpected decay patterns. Neutrino experiments like Ice Cube and Hyper Kamiokande probe ghost-like particles that seem to already be breaking old rules. The standard model also does not answer another mystery. Why does time run only one way? Equations don't prefer a forward or backward time, but reality does. Eggs scramble, but never unscramble. This arrow of time is believed to come from entropy increasing, but is entropy moving one way just a correlation or a causation of time moving forward? Why was the early universe so low in entropy? There are no clear answers. Some of the latest scientific experiments seem to point to how entanglement and measurement might give rise to time's direction. So more work is being done here. And as we wrestle with time, we can't help but ask, are we the only ones asking these questions? Are we alone in the universe? There are between 6 and 20 trillion galaxies in the universe, each with at least 100 billion stars. Each star, it appears, has at least multiple planets. So there are far more planets in the universe than grains of sand on all the beaches of Earth. In fact, it's estimated that there are multiple billions of planets in the habitable zone of their stars. Life seems likely, yet we found no proof. This is the Fermi paradox. If life is common, why the silence? But scientists today have the most advanced tool we've ever had to conduct this search, the James Webb Space Telescope. It's allowing the study of exoplanet atmospheres for gases that hint at life. Missions to the moons Europa and Enceladus are looking for chemical signs of microbes, and SETI keeps scanning the skies for artificial signals. But maybe the silence means we're just one bubble in a bigger multiverse. Some theories suggest that other universes may exist with different laws and constants. String theory proposes up to 10 to the 500 possible multiverses based on variations of extra dimensions. These ideas are speculative, but they could explain why our universe seems fine-tuned for life. How do you search for a multiverse if no information can be exchanged between them? Well, physicists are searching for tiny deviations in gravity at short distances, or unexplained particle signatures that extra dimensions might cause. No evidence yet, but the hunt continues. We've solved a lot. We can predict eclipses, land robots on Mars, and map the universe's age. But some of the biggest questions remain open. Dark matter, dark energy, quantum gravity. Each is both a mystery and an opportunity. Every time science has cracked a great puzzle, the payoff has been massive. Electricity, quantum mechanics, relativity. Once just abstract questions, now the foundation of modern life. The universe is unfinished business. And who knows, maybe the next big breakthrough won't come from Einstein or Hawking, but from someone watching this video right now. I'll see you in the next video, my friend.